Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So this is our morning Bitcoin brief. Um, so straight over to those charts. Um, yeah, so I have been um, neglecting to show you guys this larger time frame Dominator and DMT um, that we um, that we use. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you the last, well, the last couple of trades on DMT. We obviously had a nice buy trade here. Um, well, firstly, we had a nice sell trade, um, which was a massive, obviously, gain to the downside. Then we had a, what was a nice buy trade here. We sort of got faked out into it. Um, if we put on our, on our, where is it? If we put on this one, you can kind of see, we, got, we did actually get stopped out. Um, we got the buy, but we did get stopped out um, with the actual shorter time trend. But then that did get us back in the long because we stayed bullish here. And that obviously took us all the way back up to there. So you can kind of see um, when you use um, use that, you can see it basically gets you out of the trade because we got faked out into the trade, but then gets you long again. So it stopped you out about here, um, which is not too bad. Then got you long again. And obviously you got that whole big move up there. Um, and then... We finally eventually got the sell trade, um, which was here. And then as you can clearly see, we came, well, we went we went about one and a half percent offside first, and then six, nearly seven percent on side, and we're currently sat. Well, that's a big difference, that isn't it? Is that right? So that is a <laughs> that's seven percent, yeah, and this is um yeah, three percent. So yeah. Um <clears throat> yeah, so great DMT trades there. And then if you want to have a look at the dominator. So the dominator got us in a base, well, pretty much exactly the same time because we did break down pretty harshly then and held below. So that triggered the dominator too. So the dominator took its sell there. So it's just the same trade. And then dominator actually took its buy here, um, which was not not the bad, not a bad level to buy. Um, so it's on side currently and potentially we're going to move up, maybe even break the DMT line and make a move upwards. Um, dominator went by again here. It's not the great, was it, was it before and after that down candle? I guess it would be before. Um, yeah, so it got us by here. Um, we did move down a bit. Let's see how far that was. Um, yeah, it did, it did pretty much move us 4% down, so it wasn't the greatest trade. But um, you could have got out for a scratch before this move down there. Um, and then the sell trade, yeah. But um, you can see the price was, was not really doing too much um, useful. It was sort of flip-flopping around. We've got a nice buy there, but again, flip-flopping around. Um, a sell here that would have got you some profits and obviously a nice buy there so yeah that's um dmt and dominator i promise to keep you guys updated in it <laughs> updated with it more often um so over to firstly <coughs> so over to our levels so what we're we looking at here because <coughs> this is the more important thing for price action overall at the moment um you can see um on this one hour chart we have um, nicely broken up um, and well sort of holding this 9200 level we did get up to the 9300 so this was this is what we we're talking about last night we get back above this zone play out this area for a bit um, and then try and make our way up um, as long as we get supported by here um, I think basically if we take out this high again we'll, we'll, we'll get up to above this 9500 level and start making our way back up to 9700 to 9800 Short time frame oscillators having a bit of a call off there. Um, four hour though, four hours, so larger time frame ones looking really good. Um, again, we need to get supported here and start making more progress. Um, this is definitely looking like a like a new low, a new high low we put in. Um, 12 hour oscillators crossed over, which is really good. Um, I'm not liking the look of that 12 hour candle, but we have still got a couple of hours to go in it. Um, but if it does this 12 hour candle does close above this support that that is bullish um even if the upwards wick isn't so bullish um but yes 12 hour stokes starting to cross over which is good that is really good for price that should that should literally help us get it back up um <clears throat> and then yeah so that's kind of what we're looking at there um look at the daily daily yeah it's, it's sort of just not doing too much not too much to see on the daily here um so again it is the case we'll just go back to the four hour a lot of it is the case of um of um if we basically just um reclaim this area and start to move our way up but if we don't if we go back into this zone so i think if we do basically get back under say 9100 um and sort of be closing like four hour candles under here i mean i would may probably be looking for a move back down to here not back down to here, but because we didn't come that far last time, but down to around here. And then we'll have to see whether we can get supported there, move back up or whether we do break through. 
Um, so now we've had this bet, better price action here um, for the bulls. Um, I do when when we were sort of here, if we came down pretty quick, I would have thought we wouldn't we would have the momentum to get through this. But now we sort of held held the price up a bit. I think we could get supported here around eight thousand six hundred a bit better. Um, one last thing to look at on here. Um, we'll just click on this. This will do it. Um, on this 12 hour. Oh, here we go. So yeah, looking at this, um, this RSI here, you can see we have, it's maybe not the clearest to see here. Let's zoom it in a bit. You can see, um, on this, we'll look at it on the daily. On the daily, we can see that our low here in the RSI, um, our low here is lower than our low point there, um, but the price is higher. So that is actually um, hidden hidden bullish divergence there. And we've got that on the 12 hour two, hidden bullish divergence um, between that point there and that point there. So the RSI got lower, but it didn't manage to push the prices low. Um, so that is inherently bullish, and that's why it's called hidden bullish divergence. Um, so yeah, so we've got that um, basically, I think potentially to play out. Um, which will certainly get us back up to the top of this range. And then I think I, I did draw this on the other day. Um, I drew on what is is looking like, um, basically looking like an ascending triangle in the formation, um, hopefully. So bullish formation, I drew this on yesterday. Obviously the, the flat top and then if we've got the low there. So maybe push back up, have a little bit of a retrace. So th th this, this is the gold lock scenario, I think. Um, so we make our way back up to 9,800 area, have a bit of a retrace around the 9,500, um, which is on our, on our you can see 9,500 is our support here. Um, and then basically break our way through. So that is, um, that is, um, that is the Goldilocks scenario for the bulls. And obviously higher term time frames, everything's still looking bullish, weekly, monthly looking bullish, daily, everything looking bullish. Now this is, a, now this is a, at the moment confirmed as a low as a new higher low so everything's still looking great and bullish again so there is no reason to think that we won't keep pushing to the upside i mean this is a lot of tests this is a lot of selling that's gone up and you can see the selling has only got, got us down this far and it got us this far got us this far so the set the, the bears at this level are going to get tired and <clears throat> if they're not getting the big their big payday down to what they may be aiming for the bottom of the channel or at least to break these levels if they're not getting paid they are going to cover and we are going to moon so there we go so that's um the end of the um end of the video today um so yeah there's not a financial oh no actually actually one second guys we'll just have a look at this you can see we turn bullish again here um i didn't take the initial buy um buy here and um, we did come down a bit i didn't take this buy here there would have been a good one but i am potentially looking now to take the next buy so we've got the larger time frame bullish even though it is sloping down a bit um but we um so if this goes to a buy again, this should probably drag this up a bit again. And then I'll probably take the buy trade then. So I'll be putting the bots on. Um, you can see our um, uh, momentum direction, um, the average line moving up. And we're getting supported by that. So that's good for the price. So hopefully we can get a nice push up here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Range and stop wise though, again, getting getting obviously the top of the range of stop we always know is a good sell. And the bar and the bottom is a good buy. So you can see we had a nice buy there, nice sell there. We broke through. Um, and then yeah, and then a nice sell at the new top top level. So range and stop working uh, working perfectly for us there as well for some nice range and stop trades. So yeah, that is the end of the video now, guys. So um, yeah, thanks for listening. Um, remember, this is not financial advice. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. And um, yeah, happy trading out there. Remember, it's the weekend, so don't don't be so trusting of that of that price action. And um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we get on. So um, yeah, speak to you guys later.